Good evening, folks. How are you tonight? Um, today is Monday, and um, tomorrow is the film um, Save Our Jobs Day at the State House. Um, if you don't mind, I'm going to move some of these awards. But just to give you quite an example of some of the awards of movies that were shot right here in Massachusetts. So I'm going to put some of these awards away. Um, if you don't mind, I apologize. Um, a lot of a lot of movies here in Massachusetts we made have won have won numerous awards. Anyway, I'll keep the Oscar up here, um, which is over here. As you all know, last year. Um, last year that Massachusetts had um, proposed their bill to um, to stop um, filming in Massachusetts because of the fact that they claim that it doesn't supply enough jobs. Well, tonight I'm here to defend our jobs and also to tell you why I won't be at the State House tomorrow. First of all, as you guys know, years ago the film industry came to town, um, then they got tax credits, um, and then they were able to stay because of the tax credits. So they built a $10 billion studio up at Fort Devens, those that know Fort Devens. They also built um, a studio down at Quincy and Hingham area. I am in favor of the film industry in Massachusetts. Not only have I been an actor for 25 years, I grew up in Massachusetts. I don't have to be in New York anymore. This is home to me, back home in Massachusetts where I grew up. But I do agree that we do need jobs because the film industry supplies a lot of money and a lot of jobs here in Massachusetts, including one of my own, not just acting, but I own um, Boston Movie Cars, um, which I supply vehicles for the movie set. A lot of you guys have been asking me all week and last week if I'm going to be going to the State House again tomorrow, because you guys desperately need my voice, my opinion at the State House. The state already knows where I stand. They know that we do need jobs in the state of Massachusetts. But things have taken a turn. Tonight, I'm going to represent all the people. This includes the extras. If you want to be an extra in the movie, this includes the production people. This includes all that, but mainly the extras, the people who want to be actors and the models. I will tell you why I won't be out at the State House. I'm a Screen Actors Guild member. I'm a union member. And the union people, especially our Boston office, the union staff only want me to come around when their job's in jeopardy. But when I have a problem on the movie set, they turn their back. They don't answer the phone when I enter my leg on the movie set. When the set medic wouldn't even attend to me, um, the Screen Actors Guild, I called the emergency hotline three times, and they refused to do anything and turn their back on me. So why am I going to stand up and defend their jobs when I'm paying, I'm paying thousands of dollars a year in a union that doesn't stand behind me or behind you guys? And second of all, I don't agree with how the casting agencies in Boston are run. And this is for those who are thinking about becoming an actor or thinking about becoming um, a, 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 um, an extra in the movie. You should not have to pay to play. If I want to get on the fire department, okay, full time, 
I don't have to pay them to put my application in to become a firefighter. It's about the performance. The physical ability and where your heart is to save a life. Any other job, too. If you put an application at Dunkin' Donuts, you don't have to pay to play. This is another reason why I will not be at the State House tomorrow. I'm in favor of um, having our jobs, absolutely, because I don't want to see nobody go without jobs. But I'm not going to support a broken system, a system that the public doesn't know about. And that's with our film industry. For the newcomers who want to become union or become SAG, or you want to go in for an audition, you should not have to pay to play. It's against the law, and something should be done about it. I know the, the labor board's been monitoring how the casting agencies work, but they don't step in and do anything about it. Why am I, as an actor for 25 years, um, pay my union dues, plus pay a percentage, a percentage on top of my union dues um, of what I make per year. Whether it's residuals, whether it's whatever. I have to pay on top of my union dues to the SAG Screen Actors Guild who don't care about me or about you. They care about you when they want you to go to the state house tomorrow to rally around their jobs when they're making like fifty, sixty thousand a year sitting in an office doing nothing. Not answering the phone when you're injured when you have a problem on set. Um, not answering the phones when you have questions. Massachusetts State House, if you're listening to this, I don't think that the film industry should go away. But I do think there needs to be some changes on how things are run around here. It's unfair if I want to bring a family member, a retiree, or a friend who, who want, would like to get in the film industry, even as an extra. It's unfair to how these agencies run. My friends has to pay for them to get an audition or to be on set. That's against the law. No job should be pay to play, or to get hired, rather. In my, in my opinion, to, to pay somebody to, to get hired, in my opinion, that's fraud. It's almost like the old school mafia. You pay somebody, and boom, you slip them a little bit, and here you go, grease their palms, and boom, you got the position. Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with sending a thank you card out. There's nothing wrong with that. If you do get the job, if you do get a fair audition. I don't want to see any of my actor buddies laid off in Massachusetts. I don't want to see 10,000 people unemployed. I don't want to see that. But I do think, and to all the legislative people listening to this, I do think that if you approve the tax credits for the film industry to stay, that you need to add on some conditions that the film industry has to, and I repeat the word has to, abide by the laws, the state laws, the federal laws, in order for it to stay. If you don't want to add on these conditions, then I encourage you to vote it down. Send the film industry somewhere else. Back to New York where they play by the rules. Back to L.A. where they play by the rules. I'm standing up for what's right, for what I believe in. Because I do believe that there is room for advancement for people a lot younger than I am who want to join the entertainment industry, who want to become an actor who want to become an extra in the film. But they should be able to do it legally, not illegally. There should be a stop to this at some point. And to the Screen Actors Guild, with Boston, 
What is your problem? Why do I pay my membership dues for what? Not only the, the 400 a year, okay, plus on top of that what I make a year, you guys get a percentage of that. Why do I pay my union dues for what? When, when, when there's an emergency on set or when they're violating the laws and the Screen Actors Guild, you got a problem? They just hang up the phone. They don't return the phone calls or whatever. Why? Because they're afraid to stand up for what's right. People say we need change in America. People say we need change in Massachusetts. If you want the change, then stand up for what's right. Don't do things the wrong way, but do it the right way. I do love the film industry. I put my heart and soul in it. Just like I would as a, um, as a, uh, as an auxiliary for the fire department. I will put my heart and soul in it. But, when you know something's going on and people are afraid to speak up, then there's something wrong. We shouldn't have to be afraid um, in Massachusetts. We shouldn't have to be afraid to speak the truth. People are afraid to come out of their shell and speak the truth because they're afraid they're never going to get called back on a movie set. That's job intimidation in my, in my book. In the real world, in a real job, you know, if you do that, the companies can be in trouble. We shouldn't have to be a shakedown in, in the movie industry. We shouldn't have to be shaken down or keep our mouth shut, you know, if we want work. This is why I'm not going tomorrow to the State House to rally with everybody else. Because I think the problem isn't just the state trying to take away the film industry. The problem goes a little deeper. The state needs to address these issues first before they can even address an issue by giving more tax credits to the film industry. You know, start with the real problem and then work your way. And once the problem's solved, then you can meet and have a meeting. And I know I'm going to get a lot of criticism from this, but that's okay. Because I would rather work as an honest actor, okay, as an honest guy, lay my head down on my pillow at night, knowing that I spoke up for the truth. If we don't speak up for the truth, then there will be no changes. I would love to see any of my friends or any of my family who want to come on in as an extra and work their way up and become an actor or become whatever in the film industry. I would love for that to happen. But it's shameful, it's sad what it's come to. I was talking to somebody today um, at my, I was, I was, um, at my antiques place where I keep my props and stuff, and somebody's looking at some of my antiques, and the guy's like, oh, you're an actor. I was like, yes. He's like, oh, I've always wanted to become an actor. I said, don't do it. And he says, why? It's not because you don't make a good living, because you can make a fantastic living. But I said, it's a cutthroat business. You don't know the half of it. And he wanted to know what happened. And I explained a little bit that, unfortunately, you know, you have to pay to play, which is against the law. And second of all, that if you ever become a Screen Actors Guild member, your union doesn't stand behind you. You have, I've seen plenty of times with the, obviously we saw it a couple years ago, when saving Gamulas. All the unions got out there, they went on strike. They stuck together as one. All the unions, if there's a problem with the fire department, problem with the, um, with the, um, the library, problem with the, um, I'm trying to think, oh, the telephone company, 
Stop and Shop Union. In the unions come together as one, and they try to resolve problems. The Screen Actors Guild Union does not. I have a letter here, a two-page letter, inviting me, inviting me to come down to some of the um, the schoolhouse meetings um, for the Screen Actors Guild. How come I never show up to the meetings? Gee, you wonder why? Because I might speak the truth and you'd kick me out. I would love to stand up here one day at this podium and encourage everybody on my Facebook page, encourage the public on the YouTube, encourage them to apply for jobs. That would be the ultimate dream. You know, the retired cops, the retired firefighters. Hey, you want to be in a movie? You know, let me help you. I would love to help to do that. Kids that want to, hey, let me take you under my wing. Let me show you the ropes. But I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed about our union. And another thing that's against the law is this. That if, if I don't pay my union dues, folks, if I don't pay my union dues, they cut your work. You cannot work anymore until you, you, until you have the money. What is that? That doesn't play by the books by other unions. That if you don't pay your union dues, then, then you're fired and see you later. You can never work again. That is against the law. Charlie Baker, I hope you're watching this. I love the film industry. I think it should stay here in Massachusetts. There's a lot of advancement here in Massachusetts. A lot of jobs. But things need to have a change. And Mr. Baker, um, I mean Governor Baker, I apologize. Governor Baker, you need to address the real issues. The real issues isn't the tax credit. The real issues is them breaking the law on how they're hiring people. That I have to pay money in order to get a job? You have to pay to play? I know the governor doesn't hire firefighters and say, okay, hey, you want your job as a firefighter, you pass the firefighter academy. Now here, you have to pay pay 500 bucks a year or something like that in order to get on to the Boston Fire Department. It doesn't work that way, folks. And also, to our union, who claim quote-unquote claim that, <clears throat> that they're by your side when they're not. They're there by your side. We're going to stand beside you 100%. I got the, um, the Screen Actors Guild book here. Um, the Rules and Regulations. It says the Screen Actors Guild. It's in, it, it's in our, it's in our um, contract to provide set safety. Safety on set at all times. If that's the case, then then what's going on? Because you're not there. I got hurt in a building that wasn't even supposed to be filmed in. They didn't have the permits. Abandoned building with asbestos and all that crap that they're allowing a TV show to be filmed in. People bringing in, breathing in toxic chemicals and stuff. And the Screen Actors Guild lets them get away with it. To the state, I encourage you um, on two things. If you do pass the bill to all the, all the legislators, if you pass the bill for tax credits tomorrow, or this week, or whenever you guys are voting on it, attach two things. Attach number one, that the casting companies, you shouldn't have to pay to play to get a job. And number two, for the Screen Actors Guild, that if you don't catch up on your membership dues or whatever, that they can't shut you off from ever working again. 
How can you guys allow a billion dollar film industry in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts like that? How can you allow a company like that? A billion dollar business knowing full well, Mr. Baker, the labor board's already involved or watching. The labor board is watching these people, but nothing's ever done. Nothing's ever done. Nothing's ever done about it. How can you allow that to happen in our state? Oh, yeah, we want the film industry here, but you're going to have to pay to play. You're going to have to grease some palms if you want to keep working. It shouldn't be run that way. The film industry should be providing real jobs, just like the casinos are. The casinos built in Everett, Springfield, and all that. If you put in an application, they're not going to say, oh, can you give us like, you know, 100 bucks, 100 bucks a month, 100 bucks for this or that, or take a class or two and pay for the class, so then we might hire at the casino? No. You put in an application, and if you got the good resume, they'll hire you without any money's exchanged, and they'll train you, and that's the way the acting business should be, like it's running L.A. and New York. I don't agree with anything on how the things are done in Boston. I would love to, uh, Mr. Baker and the legislator, I would love the film industry to stay. I really would. And I'm not talking about because I make money with my props, business, my antique cars, and being an actor. I'm not talking about because of that. I'm talking about because I would love to see people's jobs here in the Commonwealth. To be known as the second Hollywood. But, like I said, there needs to be some changes on how things are run. Shouldn't have to pay to play for the newcomers and for the for the professional actors too. And also for the um, put a crackdown on the um, screen actors guild. The federal government's watching, but they don't do anything about it either about how that if you're not caught up on your union dues, we're cutting your ties and you'll never be able to work in the film industry again till we have your money. That's bribery. If I hired somebody to drive one of my antique cars for the movie, and I say, oh, you need to pay me to drive my car in the movie, that's against the law. You got to crack down on me on that. Or for me to hold somebody's wallet or credit card as collateral and not give it back to them is against the law. That you're, you're letting the film industry do this? It's a shame. I hate to be saying this. I wish I would be at the state house tomorrow. But I'm not going to waste my time fighting for a corrupt industry until the things are changed. Governor, I would ask that 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 you know that if you do take away the tax credits and the incentives, that you will leave a clause in there, and the clause will be this: that once the casting agencies move how they run their stuff, and once the Screen Actors Guild in Boston and anywhere move their rules on how they play by the games, you know, as far as bribery goes. And once that's all cleaned up and get the labor board involved, then I would ask that you reconsider. But right now I can't honestly say, Governor, that I am proud um, to have the film industry here. And with that said, that's all I'm going to say. And I'm standing up for what's right, you know. You know what? I believe in God. And my God is my protector. I have faith in Jesus. That's why I'm standing up here today. Am I afraid? Not really, no. Am I afraid that the, I'm never going to get a call again because I'm speaking the truth? So be it. My God's bigger than the film industry. My God's bigger than the Screen Actors Guild office in Boston. I pray for each and every one 
or the people in the in the um, in the entertainment business and also in the um, in the offices that God will make a move and that God will 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 change their ways because I would love to have my job you know and I'm probably not going to get hired for a while because of this video but I'm speaking the truth I'd rather retire as an actor and get a real job uh, well not a real job but get a another job in the real world that's that's honest than to be part of a corrupt union in a corrupt entertainment business that nobody puts a stop to because they're afraid. I'll tell you, if this was back in the 70s or 80s and this was taking place in the North End, the Mafia would have had everything shut down. Because they didn't play by the rule book. Same thing with the politicians. You know, step up to the plate. Make some changes before you reinstate the tax credit. Because right now, you know, there's some issues that really needs to be dealt with first before you approve any tax credits. But thank you very much for listening. And let's make the industry change. Let's make it a family place where kids can get involved. Adults can get involved. Retirees can get involved. But I'm not going to go tomorrow. I'm not going to be protesting. I'm not going to be sitting in the lobbies of these of the state house for what? Knowing that there's corruption going on, fighting for people's jobs, um, you know, up at the top, up at the top of the ladder, who are the most corrupt people, and the state knows about it, and they do nothing about it. And to all you actors out there listening to this video, you need to take a stand, because. In the real unions out there in the real world, the real unions come together as one. They go on strike. They do whatever to, to, um, to get the issue solved. The problem is the people in New England, especially in Massachusetts, don't have the cannolis to stand up for what's right. They want other people to do it because they're afraid they're not going to get hired. But maybe it's time all of us Screen Actors Guild come together as one and push for some changes. All the people that elected officials that got into office, and I'm not counting the um, the, the people that 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 are in the quote unquote um, pay positions in the SAG office of Boston, but everybody else who are the volunteer positions. You guys make all these promises, just like the presidential candidates now. You make all these promises that you can't fulfill. Well, put your put your words where your mouth is and do something about it, because then you might see me out there. On the street corner like it was last year, holding up a sign, you know, making my point across that I'm an actor. I'm the voice of the movie industry. Save our jobs. But right now, I'm just going to let it go until things are addressed properly. Thank you very much for listening. Let's make a difference in Massachusetts. Let's have jobs. Absolutely. Even in the film industry. But let's deal with the issues first and then go back to the table and vote on it once the issues are done. But right now, take away the tax credits for now, address the issues, then go back and reopen the tax credits once the issues are addressed. Thank you.